What's up everybody? This is Gunter Severlo. Today I'm going to show you how to sign your add-on or mod. At the top left I have a little mod that I created that I will be using to demonstrate the signing of the mod. Step 1. Let's go to the taskbar. At the bottom right is your Steam icon and let's right click it and go to library. And at the top left here where it says games just click that box, uncheck games if you want, and click on the tools. Now under tools, go down to where it says Arma 3 tools. If you have this already installed, then launch it. If you don't have it installed, then install it. Now I'm going to start mine up because I have the icon on my desktop. And start up the tools. The tool that we need to sign our add-on or mod is called DS Utils. It's this tool right here. So click on that to start it up. Step two. First thing that we need to do is add a source directory. And a source directory is going to be basically where your add-on folder is, which is this. Just click on this. I'm going to scroll down where I have a new folder. So I have new folder, my mod, and then the add-ons folder. And then you're just going to click on that add-ons folder to highlight it and then click OK. Now what that'll do is it'll add the PPO to the DSUtils box here. It'll say sign false, it means it's not signed yet. And this is the path of that PPO and of course the size. Next what we need to do is under options here it'll say private key. We need to create a private key in order to sign our add-on or mod. So you're going to click on this N here and a little box will show up. It'll say create key at the top left and then under authority name what you're going to do is you're going to put the name of your mod and mine here as you can see it here is weapon site zoom and put the name of the mod without the at sign just like I have it here and then under underneath that in the next box is the destination path now the destination path is basically going to be where once you create the key that's where the key is going to show up at so to do that just click on this folder icon right here and you're going to go down to Steam, locate your Steam folder, and then go down to Steam Apps, and then Common, and then obviously this is your Arma 3 directory. You're going to go down to Arma 3 Tools, and then you're going to go down to where it says DS Sign File, and you're going to click OK, and you can check this here. Basically, you just click on it it'll show up there and that's that's where the tool is going to show up at now once you have that just go down here you can look at this if you want that's just giving you some information on to pr protect your key and you want to check this box it says use this authority to sign files so this key is going to allow you to sign add-ons or mods so let's create the key click on the button that says create key and then what you'll get is this warning that'll pop up it says important Make sure to protect your private key well. Only public keys can be distributed with your content to public. Hit OK, that'll close that. And now what we want to do is go to where the key is located, is go to this folder icon here, click on that. And as you can see, it'll say weapon site zoom dot bi private key. You got to make sure that the address is here to where the key is. So if you click on that box, it'll be pointing to the key that I just created and that's what you want underneath the box here you'll have sign file list override signatures and force v2 the only one that you want checked is sign file list unless you have signatures already then you can click on this box but if you're only signing signatures for the first time or creating signatures for the first time you don't need to have that box checked after this we're going to basically sign our add-on and what you do for that is you go down to where it says process files and just make sure these boxes aren't checked and you want that checked. Click this process files button and a little box will pop up and it says sign the PBO list. Do you want to proceed? 
So what it's asking is, do you want to sign this? And just say yes. So click yes, and you'll get a green loading bar. And then in the information box here, you'll have one added, pressing the name of your add-on, the name of your add-on again, and then it says signed. And it'll say one file successfully signed. At the top here, the name of your add-on is turned to green. That means it's signed. And the next thing that you could do is just click on this box to check it, check mark it, and go down to where it says check signatures. And what that's going to do is just verify that the signature is has no errors or is legitimate. So just click on this box. It's going to check your signatures. There's really nothing for you to do for your keys directory because this is where this is your private key file and this is the address to your add-on so just click on verify in the box it'll say begin and then end and then no error and once it says that you're good to go what we could do now is go to your steam com and actually go to that folder and i'm going to show you how to go there uh, go to your armor 3 tools menu again and next to the uh, ds utils button click on this folder and it'll take you directly to the DS sign file folder. If you go to where the name of your add-on is, you should see also a bikey file. So remember, this is the private key that we created, which also creates a bikey file. So we can close this and let's take a look at my little mod here. Open up the add-ons folder and you can see that it was signed. So the by sign will be the name of your add-on dot pbo dot the name of your add-on again dot by sign and it is now signed so you can close that and this is all you need to do close the dsu tools and close the armor 3 tools because we are done that concludes the tutorial i hope that this helped you guys and i want to thank you guys for watching i will catch you guys on the next video bye